Previously on Sanctuary. All right. Adam, what are you doing here? Helen, sorry to intrude, James. Burned down any more laboratories recently? That was ten years ago, and it was an accident. Really? What do you want, Adam? It's my daughter, Emma Jean. She's gravely ill. Rare blood disease. I beg of you, help her. We battled until the very end. We tried everything. Loss of a daughter. It's a wound that never heals. He told me he intended to use the device to save his daughter. Time travel. It's impossible. But he said he found a way. You would have been altering the course of history. That was the point. If Adam succeeds in altering the timeline, then everything about our world, the, the refugees, the sanctuary, our very lives, will be irreparably damaged. We may even cease to exist. Praxis. It's gone. What happened here? Worth. He must have made another attempt to power up the machine. Adam, what are you doing? This is madness. I have a chance to get my daughter back. Are you telling me you wouldn't do the same thing? Not at the expense of everyone on the planet. You're too late. for a quick finish, Helen. Me too. Don't make things worse, Adam. Neither of us can be here. We both know it. It's only time travel, Helen. What's the worst that can happen? Aside from destroying the natural order of history. What, by creating a utopia? Taking over the world. Hasn't said a word. Wouldn't let the doctor near him either. It's hardly surprising. Did she put up any kind of resistance? In his jet was a debutante. Just fire all the weapons we found on him. Never seen anything like it. I would say Miss Magnus, his reputation as odd remains intact. Doctor Magnus. And I will need everything you took from her. <laughs> there are no charges, and no evidence to suppress. I'm just making your life easier, Lestrade, as usual. Fine. But you owe me for this one. You ready to come home, Helen? That's why I receive a message that you've been found injured, half dressed, and discharging a weapon in public. If you had a lead in the case, you could at least have informed me. I should have. I realized that things just got away from me, I'm afraid. It was him, wasn't it? He was right. How, how could you face him on your own? 
I didn't get a good look at who it was. I just, I got overexcited and I fell. Now, I should have called you, mm. contacted you. Thank you, James. Overexcited. That's your explanation for your incredibly strange attire, weapons that I have never seen, and your hair. For God's sake, when did you do that? It's late, and it's been a hell of a night. Helen, at least let me take a look at your head. You, you've taken a terrible tumble. I'm fine. Really. I can see myself home. Good night, James. Bloody hell. Helen. What on earth's come over you? I still have this in my study. It arrived yesterday from Mozambique. I'd say your father was having a wonderful time on the dark continent. I believe he's sent a new form of iodine. Let me, James. Medicine was always your weak spot. It was? It's a scalp wound and a mild concussion. I hardly need a nursemaid. You stop looking at me like that. How should I be looking at you? Just leave me alone. What the devil is that made of? These numbers, are they significant? The design, the purpose. How, how is that powered? James, ignore all of this. Ignore me. Browning Automatic? I've never heard of that, and yet I know every weapons manufacturer in the world. Amazing, the release time. Leave! Right now. Not a chance. It's my sanctuary. Is it? From the moment you walked in here, you've been behaving as if you were visiting someone's grave. It may have been your sanctuary a long time ago, but not anymore. Business cards made from a substance I can't identify. Issued 2010. Expires 2015. Weapons that I have never seen or heard of. Clothes designed for maximum movement and protection. I am Helen Magnus. Oh, you definitely are Helen Magnus, just not of this era. I'm detective. Well then, now you understand why you have to leave. Because by being here, you may disrupt the timeline, change the future as you know it. No, but how is this possible? I came here on a mission. If I fail, everything that is meant to be, everything that I build from now until my present could be destroyed. Who are you tracing? 
Honestly, Helen, whatever your mission is, it's got off to a very bad start. You need help, and seeing as I know the truth, what choice do you have but to let me in? No questions about the future, near or distant. Adam Worth, that's who I was chasing. From Oxford? What on earth? He's come from the future as well. I followed him here after John and I was... John Druitt? Dear God, does everyone from our era live on to the 21st century? Not everyone. Oh. I'll tell you only what you need to know to prevent Adam from irrevocably damaging the future. Nothing more. Time travel is actually possible. HG would be ecstatic. But by simply being here, haven't you already changed things? I'll not give you a lesson in temporal theory. Nice try. But had I arrived a century or even a millennia ago, the effect on my future would likely be more severe. So the shorter the time scale, the less the effect on the future. Unless, of course, Adam does something to dramatically alter the course of events. Or you do. Do we have a deal? Everything you brought with you must be destroyed. And you need to change. Don't even think about it. It's a communication device, isn't it? Better? Much. Good. No questions. Tired. Hmm. What did you do to your hair? Mm, mm, just a little cut. <laughs> Abdomen. 
most wonderful thing. I found a cure for your condition. But you said there was no... No, no, no. That's all changed. For the better, I promise. Right. Let's get a move on. He should still be in the city, but maybe not for long. The Adam Worth from your time. He's come here for what reason? Open the door. Open it now. I'll throttle it. Uh, Look, I'm not joking. You'll end no. up in the garden. Open it. I can. Thank you. Adam. Helen. James. Sorry to intrude. Burned down any laboratories recently? That was ten years ago, and it was an accident. Ten years? Listen. It's my daughter, Imogene. She's gravely ill. It's a rare blood disease. Now, I've tried every treatment possible, every method. And you want my help? Thank you, Helen. But actually, I I've come for his help. You see, she's missing. Someone's taken her. I just don't understand how to do this. I, I haven't much money. She's just a child. Worth, be a good chap and ask the night board for the visitor manifest, will you? Okay. There's no sign of a struggle. She went without resistance. Of course she did. She thought he was her father. In the past, I remember Adam came to us for help finding a cure for Imogen. Two months from now. This moment never happened. And now this future Adam has his daughter. And a cure? Which means he's already altered the future. Forever. Please, are there any clues? Suspects? We'd know more if you told us what you were working on, Adam. I told you. I'm trying to find a cure for her disease. Which is an expensive proposition. You need money, resources, which means some sort of extortion plot or, or larcenous act. What? No, I'd never resort to that. Those lab fires were hardly an accident. And those toxins you were formulating at Oxford, I know you've created prototypes. My daughter is missing. And if you want to find her, you will give us names, places, safe houses, everything you are secretly planning to unleash on this city. You're mad. Helen, that's enough. I thought you understood my situation. I guess I know better now. I find her myself. Has society gone back to the Dark Ages? He's done nothing wrong. Not yet, but he will, believe me. And if you interrogate him in this manner, it will be you who has altered the natural order of things. Helen, you have far too much knowledge about this time and place. Use that carefully. We need to find Adam, future Adam, before too much damage is done. Finding people is what I do, if you recall. But I will ask you to curb your temper as we go forward. Of course. James, I, I'm sorry. You can see yourself home. Don't lie to me! Five murders. Their throats cut. Their bodies desecrated in a manner that few beings can achieve. Instant escape from the crime scene. And so it must be me. You seem flattered. <laughs> I am. Deft manner of proving your innocence. Threatening my life. Call it self-preservation. Why on earth should I let you frame me for crimes I haven't committed? Then you've nothing to fear. 
sound just like James. How much time have you been spending together? And now jealousy. For whom? How dare you question my motives? My feelings. You, you hunt me like an animal. After all you've been through, my heart is yours. What's wrong? Drew was here. John? Are you... Is she? We're both fine, thank you. He's not happy that you like him for the latest Ripper killings. Made sure I knew it. Not happy because I'm right? All right, no questions, I understand. But you did make a point of letting me know that he paid you a visit, which I will take to mean that I must keep focused on the case. Adam Worth. Uh, he is expected at the Reformer Club in Pall Mall this evening. Whether it's the future or the present, Adam, I, I don't know. Good. If we hurry, we'll beat him now. James, is that you? Darling! Hello. There you are. You ready to work? Uh, yes, if you are. Absolutely. Now, I've been rethinking your last theory, and I found a few holes, I'm afraid. Oh. Assist you? I'm here to see Adam Worth. I have no record of any guests for Mr. Worth. I'll gladly leave him a message, Miss. Doctor Helen Magnus. Consider it done. I'll hail you a cab. I'll only be a minute. The club is for members only. Remove your hand. Right? How <laughs> dare you? She's with me. Whatever took you so long, love? Shame on you. She's a lady. Is that a revolver under your bus? Or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it's a gun. Any last words? Well, don't shoot. It never seems to work with you. How about kill me here and alter the future in the most dramatic fashion? The infamous Helen Magnus, murderer of a patron of a gentleman's club. Quite the departure from your destiny, I'd say. Cheers. I do miss this era. Simpler, more elegant time. I will kill you, Adam. What for? To save the future? What makes what we left behind so precious? With Praxis destroyed, God knows what threat my people are facing in the present. Most likely you've created chaos for Hollow Earth and the surface that will take years to clean up. None of that has happened yet. And guess what? Maybe it never does. Move on, I say. Change the future. Make it whatever you want it to be. You know what I find interesting 
is that you're sitting here, sipping brandy with these stiffs, instead of skipping off into the sunset with Imogen. I like it here. There's been a complication. You haven't cured her yet. That's why you're here. To borrow money to fund your plan, which I am certain has gone entirely pear-shaped. It's a matter of time, love. And only that. Bustle or no, I'll be out that door before your head hits this table. Doubtful. Simon! Lady's ready to leave now. Thanks for the offer, ma'am, but I'm a family man and a gentleman. James, please. But you have been through all this before, for God's sake. You could save lives. We both know I can't interfere. Then there will be blood on your hands. Not if you do your job and stop looking for a shortcut. And if your very presence here has changed the course of events, interfered with the investigation, what then? Can you live with that? No, no, please, spare me. I don't want to know the answer. Because in the future, emotions and empathy Humanity ceases to exist. You should have caught him by now. <sighs> yes, my presence here may have altered things. Possibly for the worst. That woman who died tonight should be the last victim. But she won't be. Remember the purpose of the sanctuary. To find and help unfortunate creatures, to protect them, to keep the public safe. Do that. And this case will be solved without any further bloodshed. And if I can't? It's an expression I've rarely heard you use. What are you making? Arsenic. Strychnine. A toxin. A last resort. To mimic the blood disease that kills Imogene. Fail safe in case Adam cures her, dear God. I'm not even sure I can finish making it, let alone give it to her. If there was any other way to stop Adam Worth from completely disrupting the timeline, humanity isn't completely dead in the future, just so you know. You're going out? Where? Hunting. I don't have time for this, John. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear earlier. But hunting me will only make things more difficult for you. Let me pass. Oh, there's only one way to make you pay attention. You're insane. Oh, very much so. Fancy some more. 
How does it feel? Cold steel against your jugular. In the hands of someone who knows how to kill you slowly and has the will to do it. Helen? Are you paying attention? Stay away from me. Jack. Know my name, do ya? Yes, I know who you are. Jack knows you. You're Gregory's little girl. My father helped you years ago, saved your life. You're not a little girl anymore. Older now, much, much older. Smell like nothing I know. You promised my father you wouldn't kill again. That you'd leave London. Jack did leave! People hunted me down like a dog. This is my hunting ground. Humans hunt Jack, then Jack hunts humans. Here, my ground! The city's bigger. You'll be found and killed. Strong. I'm too fast for them. They'll never find me. I can. And I will. You can die like an animal or live with my protection. Be safe from humans. Humans can go to hell with my help. If you kill again, I can't guarantee your safety. Stop now and I'll give you sanctuary. You have my word. And my father's. I'm your friend. Thanks a lot. So different. Such odd looking pieces. You actually designed these. Uh, some of them, yes. To help me. You are all I've been thinking about for a very long time. Good. You look tired. I wish you'd take a rest. Too close here, Imogen. But once this is done, we'll be able to get all the rest we want and go places together. See things you've never seen, it'll amaze you. Soon, not only will we be able to see the world together, it'll be ours for the taking. Anything you want, anything at all. We take it, control it. Use it to create whatever future we want. I've never heard you talk this way before. You're different. So confident. Hmm. Chance of getting a biscuit with me, T? As his lordship pleases. This better be good. I just climbed up six flights of stairs in new boots. I was thinking about what you said, and I think you're right. It isn't John doing these murders. I'm listening. Another creature, as violent and dangerous as him, with its own unique method of near instant escape. As I've been saying, but as you keep pointing out, none of the other possibilities make any sense. No one can teleport like John. What about incredible super strength? The ability to leap quickly to high ground? Rooftops. Exactly. You're certain? Yes, Mum. Up those stairs to the dark wood door. Thank you. Dear God, Adam. 
Before you start threatening me, or shooting me for that matter, we still have that nagging problem of the witnesses. Hello? Imogen. Dr. Helen Magnus, this is my daughter, Imogen. You must be one of my dad's colleagues. He said some friends might drop by. How lovely to meet you, Doctor. Dr. Helen here is a groundberry girl, just like you. What have you done, Adam? How are you feeling, Imogen? Better than I have in years. Thanks to Papa here. Oh, yes. Healthy as a horse, I'm afraid. Welcome to the future, Helen. So, now that the game is over, what say we put away our guns, yes? Starting with yours. Unlikely. Huh? Are you going to shoot me? In front of my own flesh and blood? It's cold, Helen. Even for you. The meaning of this? I'm sorry, Imogen. But this man is not your father. Please, leave him alone. I know it looks like him, but this man has ended millions of innocent lives, caused unimaginable destruction. Don't listen to her, darling. All lies. Destroying Praxis! Altering the timeline! You have to be stopped, Adam. Please, leave him alone. <laughs> Sure. Stay here. I won't be long. Shaming me in front of my daughter, Helen. Very implied. Had to get all high and mighty with your amazing future, didn't you? Couldn't get with the program. No. You stupid, small minded. I've worked for everything I care about destroyed by you. I'll kill you for this. I swear. <laughs> Adam's daughter. Eve's must have collapsed on her. Imogen? Oh. Oh. Get away from her. Imogen. I'm so sorry. Imogen. 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 Oh. 
What have you done? Both of you! Adam! If you'd have helped, she'd still be alive right now. The blood is on your hands. In your hands! We'd better be on our way. Oh, that poor man. Jack, our sanctuary's newest resident. I wish I could have told you earlier. Yeah. All that matters is that the streets of London are safe again. As they should be. I never meant to burden you, James. All this knowledge you have to keep secret. Oh, I love it. You know that. What? All the deductive reasoning I'll be able to do with the little tidbits you've left me. I'm... It's going to keep me occupied for decades. If I have that long. In my future, you do. Many of them. No, I don't want to know. Far too much information. Now that we've cleaned up all evidence of Adam and the technology he brought with him, I suppose there's only one thing left undone. What to do about you? I can't be here, James. We both know it. Everything I touch, everyone I meet, could ruin my future. You'd best kill yourself. I'm glad we both agree. Uh, Helen, suicide? <laughs> You're so melodramatic. Do you have a better idea? I'm trapped here and I've no way home. You can always go home. It just might take a little while. It's one of the benefits of your incredibly slow aging. Disappear. Go somewhere remote with limited contact with the rest of the world. Spend the time thinking about all the things you've lived through. 113 years of seclusion. And then you rejoin your timeline just after you've left it. Unless, of course, you're determined to do yourself in. A vacation? From what I gather, you've rather earned one. <laughs> 